Hello, Scorpios! Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Going to do your 2019 year reading here, guys. Sorry, I'm still late with everything. Um, ooh. Sorry, I had to burp just a little bit. Okay, so, um, what's going on with y'all? For 2019, what might be coming up? What is the highest probability for now? We're going to look at that, right? And just some side notes. Um, I'm going to have my email and my PayPal for donations in my description box if you want a personal reading. But I'm not going to start doing personal readings again until the 13th, so you can totally send me some requests for some and I will do it for you. Um, holiday treat, right? It'll be for free, but that's when I'll, like, start uploading again is the 13th, right? I'm also going to try to get more drawings in, so... I will see you guys for probably mid-January to February readings for that. Right? But for right now, we're going to be doing this. Just keep your chins up. Hmm. Is that right or is this right? I think this is right. Right here. Scorpio. Knight of Swords Reverse. That's the energy we're leaving behind in 2018 and coming into. Well, yeah. You're leaving that in 2018. That verboseness, that lack of not wanting to communicate. The first quarter, there you are, coming to yourself, I feel like. Um, transforming, becoming something different, something new. Alright, what is the second quarter, I wonder? Second quarter deals with the hanged man. Possibly like coming to a crossroads during the second quarter of the year, right? What is the third quarter supposed to be? Your sweet rider weight. These guys have been I've been trying to take breaks in between. Even the baby aren't too bad off. We just keep eating apples. <laughs> Third quarter deals with indecisions. In the ugh, excuse me. The fourth quarter might deal with some secrets. Maybe a Pisces. Maybe a Cancer. But somebody definitely like dealing with some secrets in the background. Something somewhere. Something might be hidden. For the most part. Right? Right. Let's see what the rest of these quarters are for this. What is going on in the first quarter with this death card? The transformation, the death of the old, let the new come in. There might be a relationship coming to an end of the Two of Cups with a Queen of Wands who's being very, very stubborn and possibly hiding things. I like to call her a liar, liar, pants on fire, Sagittarius. Leo Aries person doesn't have to be female either um, but she right now she's in that mode of like I don't care I want it and I'm getting it no matter what right you might be coming out of a relationship with that person at that time um, then you're the second quarter you're kind of hanging out for an opportunity where hmm Cultivate prolific. You could be looking for a chance to develop something out of naughty behavior. Like you kind of got to go in the background and swing your sword, kill a few people, actually to act like a mercenary when the opportunity arrives itself at this crossroads, I feel like. Because you want to get have something happen, you just don't know how to do it, so you got to Go to sneaky route with the seven of swords, as always. Like, you're developing something back here, and nobody knows what it is quite yet. Um, in the third quarter, you got some indecision going on, and you're kind of keeping to yourself a little bit with the hierophant. The sage, the mentor, you're looking internally what's going on. Could also be a... I don't know why it says Taurus, because it's usually Virgo's... No, it's not. Never mind. I'm stupid. That's the hierophant. I'm very dumb today. And a king of wands... Leo Sagittarius Aries once again. Possibly the same person. Disciplined, devoted person. Maybe you're look maybe you're trying to 
Maybe you're having some indecision that you're going on and on about about the actual person. Who they are and who they're acting like. Like, you know that they're very, they can be very kind, they can be very stern, but they're still a very genuine person. But right now they're acting possibly like um, a dick. Like, you're okay in this split up. It seems like they're not. Like, they're not taking it too well. As the Queen of Wands by hiding things, right? Then for this moon, where um, there are some secrets underneath the surface, possibly. Maybe dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer, of course. Mm. Yeah, lovers reverse. Something isn't going to work out. The secret is a lover situation is going to work out. I don't know if this is a situation where someone realizes they're not in love with somebody anymore, or this is a breakup with a bad person, but then there's another breakup that you don't know about, like secret lovers or some shit, I feel like. Is that a secret? So maybe the secret lovers broke up somewhere, and you just don't know that yet? Because, you know, you better be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. <laughs> That's what's going on right there in the last part of the of the um, year in 2019 like someone was not careful with what they were wishing for in this scenario someone was not paying attention to um, the signs how you're coming in to 2019 is the star you're ready to heal you're ready to communicate you're ready to act on a higher plane than yourself to get somewhere and achieve right but this first quarter the lesson is is that there's nothing wrong with traveling, I feel like. You are able to go forward with communications or informations or news, despite how someone might feel about it, I feel like. Um, and over in here, this other lesson is like, you can't just keep hanging on and thinking that, um, I feel like someone thinks that the sneaky behavior, they were going to be prolific almost without they're going to approach things but their opportunity just i mean there was opportunity but they kept hanging around for it and i think that that didn't bring communication in when they were trying to do things in the background like i know scorpio you guys have a tendency to want to work in the background with shit but sometimes it doesn't work because then it looks like you're coming off as really really shady and i know you guys don't realize that but that's not how some people take it. Like, that might be how you're coming off right here. That you're not ready to communicate. That you're not ready to um, be trusted to not be too arrogant. Like someone might be picking that up from you. Or you could be picking that up from somebody else too. Then there's someone just being a stubborn ass and just being like, I don't like that bitch no more. Not showing their true emotions. Just like looking the other way like, mm. Someone might be tired of trying to give emotionally in the relationship and they're just holding their cup hostage and over here someone's learning about like letting the past go to walk away so they can renew for the future you know like they still like sniffing the cars but they gotta move on you know with you go ending Ooh. with you ending 2019 going into 2020 is bad judgment somewhere either you or the person you're dealing with in this scenario Scorpio or it could even be multiple people fitting multiple roles and they all don't have to match their zodiacs but it's like there's some sort of judgment call that didn't go well and you go into and you end 2019 realizing this that like yeah maybe this was all just a bad idea but I still had to move ahead you know or maybe you just aren't sure about how to do it yet. And maybe you can plan ahead for that. That's what I got for 2019 for you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.